Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, AD. As you can see in this given diagram, and as a result, uh, we get this uh, angle uh, DAC represented by X. And moreover, uh, this side uh, AB is three units. This segment length uh, BD is one unit. And finally, the segment uh, CD length uh, is five units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle X. And we are not supposed to be using the calculators. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to label uh, this segment uh, AD as uh, lowercase a. And I'm going to label uh, this whole uh, big side uh, AC as uh, lowercase b. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, this side is our hypotenuse, whereas uh, these are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, one square plus uh, three square is going to be equal to a square. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our lowercase a side length uh, value turns out to be square root of uh, 10. So thus our uh, lowercase uh, a value turns out to be square root of 10. And now we are going to focus on this big right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, side BC is going to be 1 plus 5 is going to give us 6. So therefore, our hypotenuse is going to be lowercase b. And our two other legs are uh, 6 uh, and uh, 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 3 square uh, plus uh, 6 square is going to be equal to our hypotenuse is b so this is going to become b square and now i'm going to undo this square by taking square root on uh, both uh, sides so therefore our lowercase b value turns out to be three times the square root of uh, five so thus our lowercase b value turns out to be three times the uh, square root of uh, five and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simpler as you can see in this uh, next step, we have dropped a perpendicular PD on this side uh, AC. And as a result, we are ended up with these two right triangles. Uh, the first right triangle is uh, APD. And the other right triangle uh, is uh, CPD. And now I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, PD as uh, lowercase y. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, AP as lowercase uh, c. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, CP is going to be this whole length uh, B minus uh, C. And our B value is 3 times square root of 5. So this length is going to be 3 times uh, square root of 5 uh, minus lowercase c. So thus our, uh, this uh, segment uh, CP length uh, is 3 times square root of 5 minus C. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CPD. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 5, whereas our two other legs are uh, Y and uh, 3 times square root of 5 minus uh, C. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, y square plus uh, we are going to put down the other leg as uh, 3 times uh, square root of 5 minus c whole uh, square is going to be equal to 5 square. 
And now let's recall this famous identity. A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, Y square and let's take care of this uh, binomial that is going to give us uh, 45 minus uh, 6 uh, times the uh, square root of uh, 5 uh, times the uh, C plus uh, C square equals to on the right hand side uh, 25. And now I am going to move uh, this uh, term uh, to the other side uh, whereas uh, I am going to move this uh, 25 in the opposite direction. So therefore I can write uh, Y square plus uh, C square together plus uh, 45 and minus uh, 25 is going to be equal to 6 uh, times square root of 5 times uh, C. And now we can see 45 minus 25 is going to give us uh, 20. As you can see in this uh, next step, uh, 45 minus 25 is going to give us uh, 20. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle uh, APD. Let's apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here is our Pythagorean theorem once again. And in our case uh, the hypotenuse is square root of 10. Whereas our two other legs are uh, Y and lowercase c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we are going to write down uh, Y square plus uh, c square is going to be equal to square root of 10 whole square and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So we are ended up with these equations 1 and 2 and now let's focus on equation 1. We know y square plus c square value from equation 2 equals to 10. So I'm going to substitute that value 10 over here. So therefore this uh, y square plus c square value is uh, 10 plus uh, 20 is going to be equal to 6 uh, times uh, square root of 5 uh, times c. And now we are going to divide both sides by 6 times square root of 5. So this cancels out with this one. So our c value turns out to be simply 5 divided by square root of 5 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator so therefore we are going to multiply and divide uh, by square root of 5 uh, at the very same time and we can see square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to be simply 5 so therefore uh, c turns out to be equal to 5 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 5 and this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore uh, our lowercase c value turns out to be simply square root of 5 so thus our lowercase c value turns out to be square root of 5 and finally let's focus on this uh, right triangle APD once again and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle once again and here is our Pythagorean theorem and in our case uh, our uh, hypotenuse is uh, square root of 10 whereas our two other legs are uh, y and square root of 5 and now we are going to fill in the blanks uh, so we got uh, y square plus uh, square of uh, square root of uh, 5 is going to be equal to square root of 10 whole square Let's simplify. We got y square plus 5 equals to 10. Let's subtract 5 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore y square value turns out to be 5. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore our y value turns out to be square root of 5. So thus our uh, this segment uh, PD length turns out to be square root of 5. And here is our final step. Let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, APD. And we can see this is our isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. 
and since uh, this uh, triangle is isosceles so therefore uh, this uh, angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle so therefore uh, this angle is going to be x as well and now we know the sum of uh, interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees and we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle x has got to be 45 degrees and this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x turns out to be 45 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye